Home saying, today we are talking about how to transplant your strawberry runners. So let's go and take a look and we'll show you how it's done. All right, so here is our strawberry patch and you can see it is full. It has lots of strawberries everywhere. We've taken some strawberries out from there and we've transplanted some into um, some containers so that we can give them away or um, put them on another property. Uh, but we um, have strawberries actually like this one here that are runners. You see that? vine that's going out and it's actually planted itself outside of our bed so that's pretty cool um, there's others that went underneath that cap over there on the left corner and we just have them really full there's some there up along the sides here and we're going to remove one of these right now so what you want to do is just pull them from the soil and you want to pull the runner plants not the mother plants the mother plants you'll see like these ones over here have strawberries on them this one here has strawberries on them you can just tell they're a lot different than some of these runner plants these strawberries put out runners like this and then they have a plant on the end of them just like this one here so you want to cut the runner and then you have a full plant that you can put into any of these um, six pack cells so make sure you have those six pack cells all ready to go so that the roots don't have any more stress than they need to while you're planting them up and you can cut off this extra long uh, runner if you so choose there's like another little plant that's growing there but we'll just throw that into the compost and strawberries can be very invasive. They can actually run pretty far and go um, where you don't want them to. So it really helps to have some type of raised bed, some type of perimeter to kind of keep them. But as you can see, this one over here, they can go up and over. So you have to keep an eye on them. This one over here, you can see they're growing underneath all of the caps and everything. So. Just want to do a short video for you guys on how to do this. You obviously want to water these in once you transplant them, but then uh, it makes for a great uh, Christmas gift uh, for people or or even uh, whatever fall gift. Um, but what you want to do is if you um, are going to keep these outside, not in a greenhouse or anything, you want to just cover them up with straw really well, um, hence strawberries, but uh, any kind of mulch will do but uh, straw obviously is their namesake. So uh, just pile a ton of straw on there and they should overwinter for you. And really what you wanna do is just keep the kind of crown of the strawberry plant. That is the important part. So we're gonna keep planting up these strawberries, but it is nice when you have them with some roots on them like that so that uh, they actually have a good start. You don't want to find these ones. These are not ideal. You gotta wait till they Kind of get a little bit of roots on them this one's getting ready but um once you plant a few mother plants the strawberries will just take off and then you can thin them out and that's what we're doing here we're just leaving a couple here and there uh, in this corner to fill in again next year all right well i'm nick from arizona highland homestead i thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please go and click the subscription button and uh, also hit that bell so you get notified we've been putting up lots of live videos lots of shorts so uh, stay tuned we'll have more videos for you real soon